You may hear him. Down goes Frazier. Down goes Frazier. Guys, there's nothing like boxing, and there are no athletes like fighters. Morning, fight fans. I'm Jay Cotto, and welcome to Jay Cotto's Fight Page. And today I'll be bringing you the, the uh, Friday uh, fight news. And um, <clears throat> start off with a uh, super fight. The Boxing Voice uh, they had a report that said a uh, Bob Arum leaves the door open for more fights with Heyman. Bob is trying to bring top rank to major network televisions as well, and that's a good thing. That uh. Bob Arum is actually trying to make things happen. Like I said before, if you really want to know the truth, go to top rank and you'll see all the moves being made and reported. So top rank is trying to leave that door open to make more fights happen for us fans. Okay? Uh, that's just basically it. I'm not even going to argue with any of you guys that run with, you know, the other side or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Uh, just... Don't argue the fact with other people either when they bring it up with sources like this. You know what I mean? And uh, Robert Garcia can't believe that uh, that Floyd is uh, letting Manny Pacquiao wear his uh, Cleto Reyes' gloves. And also can't believe that they're eight ounces. And um, <laughs> yeah, I tell you, man, that's that's pretty special. And I'm surprised myself. But I guess, I guess, I guess uh, he's, how can we say he's not taking Pacquiao, you know what I'm saying, very seriously, you know, because we all know what he did to Maidana, the power locks, but now he let Manny wear eight ounce Cleto Reyes, okay, so, hmm. To me, that's 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 like the first sign. To me, that's like the first sign of underestimation right there. It is what it is, man. The WBC has made a belt for the super fight, man. And uh, I don't know. I, I guess these guys are listening to me or something. Or my wishes. I don't know. But uh, it's going to be made in... Well, it's made already in emeralds, diamonds... Italian, Ferrari leather, and rubies. Now that's something I said that I wanted yesterday. And, and look what happened. Oh, this, this is going to be awesome. Bernard Hopkins has said in a fight hype interview, Floyd hype interview, that uh, after six rounds, Manny Pacquiao will be target practice for Floyd Mayweather. I, I don't... Floyd Mayweather was spotted with uh, top rank president uh, Todd DeBow having a private conversation. Now that 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 can mean anything. That can mean that uh, you know, Floyd is trying to strike up a deal. So when he's done with Showtime, you know, uh, you know, he can he can basically, I guess, if he wanted to make more fights, you know, make more fights with top rank. I guess one more to make fifty, whatever it is. And uh, I guess that would be it. You know what I mean? Uh, I guess it's open for negotiation. You know? Mayweather is reported that he's not happy with Jim Lampley doing the play-by-play -play for the super fight. You know, a lot of people say that uh, Lampley's biased and he's Brian Pacquiao and, you know. But what more can you call in a fight where a dude is punching you know what I'm saying? Like a hundred times in a round, 120 times in a round, and he's landing. It sounds biased, but it's, I mean, if the shoe was on the other foot, he'd be calling Mayweather fight too. Come on, let's stop it. Steve Forbes, which is a great, a great fight, uh, has sparred both Manny and Floyd, and says that uh, 
that he can't choose on this one. It's, it's kind of hard for him. So I guess he's going neutral until I guess he gets closer. Uh, Manny Pacquiao has opted uh, not to have a rematch clause with Floyd Mayweather because he wants control on the next uh, go around in the negotiations. And, uh, you know, if Mayweather was to lose that fight and wanted a rematch, the A side would be packed. So that's basically why he did. Mayweather says that Manny Pacquiao will retire. I'm um, sorry. Mayweather Sr. says that Manny Pacquiao will retire after Floyd whoops him. Remember these words. Guys, just remember them. Remember everything that's being fucking said right now. Juan Manuel Marquez says and warns Pacquiao, knock him out, don't trust judges or the scorecards. I partially agree with that. If not, beat him convincingly, land, you know what I'm saying? Freddie Roach predicts a knockout a win for Pacquiao as well. And, um... I mean, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to underestimate Floyd Mayweather, but in that fight, you got to give the power to to Manny, and you know, another fight news: Roy Jones Jr. returns March sixth, and the former four division champion will be going for a fifth title at forty six. Do you think, Jones? Do you think, brother? 2014 was a great year for Terrence Crawford. And we all got to agree with this. And now, 2015, he will be awarded the Sugar Ray Robinson Award, which will confirm he's Boxer of the Year. And it's given to him from the Writer Association uh, Boxing of America. And congratulations to you, Mr. Crawford. And uh, I hope to see you in the future of boxing, doing what you do, and just getting better. Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. got some words from his father, Julio Cesar Chavez Sr. See, Sr. has expressed uh, his feelings on how Jr. is going about things, trying to get a match with GGG, you know? Uh, he's kind of kind of upset, and he's just not having it anymore. And um, he's going to talk to Junior. Hey, this is what it is, man. Miguel Cotto has finally broken his silence and uh, has stated, no organization owns my career. Uh, I happened to run across the channel, the uh, UCN, and uh, Boxing News, and... Uh, I, I was listening to Doug Fisher, and uh, he made some good points in that little, little debate they were having. And um, I'm just going to quote him on some things that he said, which is great quotes. Uh, Doug Fisher was asked, and uh, he said, uh, Les Moonves got the deal done, was going to give Floyd an ultimatum. Then he goes on to say, the fight is not late for the general sports fan or for, uh, or for boxing uh, diehard fans. We're, we're just tired of it. And after the JJM knockout, we thought it was over. But based on uh, Manny's performance, it rekindled it. Most, most say Manny is a dead man walking. Well, I like the odds going against me. And I don't know how you guys are in life, but I like the feeling those odds. The Pekka the same way. So let's just let the odds just keep stacking up. And stacking up, brother! <laughs> let's just have this shit stacking up. That, you know. Fight Hype has released footage uh, about 6 minutes and uh, 42 seconds of Adrian the Problem Brona training going in for the Johnny Molina fight. And he's looking sharp, too. And uh, that's basically all I have for today's Friday uh, fight news. I hope I was informative enough for you guys and uh have a great weekend i hope you guys called in the boxing voice yesterday god damn it i tried to get on and i tell you man 
Line's busy. It's hard to get on that show. That's why I encourage you to get on there about 7 p.m. Don't start to 7.30, but get on at 7 p.m. And just start dialing or whatever speed dial. Have that shit if you want to voice your opinion. But anyway, this is Jay Cotto. Thank you for joining me on my fight page. And um, I'm going to bring you a simulated version of the super fight later on today. That's right. Manny Pacquiao versus Floyd Mayweather Jr. Have a good day, fight fans.